it's Lauren. So today's look is going to be really luminous fresh skin and some pops of pink and bronze. So I'm going to start with my Thrive Cosmetics CC Blur. I'm just going to do a very light amount of this and I'm going to use my Cloven Hallow brush to buff it in. The shade light is really a perfect match for me. Um, I had light medium before and it always seemed to oxidize a little bit and not quite match my skin, but light has been perfect. I like this though because it adds just the right amount of color. It's just a really nice consistency. Next, I'm going to use some of the Uoma concealer. I really, really like this stuff. It's really, really full coverage. Um, but it's also still really creamy. And I had to stop using their foundation because it was making my perioral dermatitis flare. Like even if I would just, I wouldn't even put it like right here, but like every single time I would use it, I would have a massive breakout immediately after. As you can see though, it's got a really great coverage. I don't know if the concealer does the same thing on me. We're going to find out, but I'm not putting it anywhere down near here. So it should be fine under my eyes. I really love the texture, the consistency and coverage of this concealer. It's really kind of like the ideal for me. I do like a good amount of coverage because I do have a lot of blueness under my eyes and I really like to cancel that out. Before I set my face, I'm going to use some of my Phytosurgeons in Singe. I really love this shade. It's a beautiful kind of warm pink and the texture of these is just so nice. I love cream blushes and these just kind of, they're not very thick, but they have a lot of pigment and they just sort of become part of your skin. Um, I really love a lot of their products actually. I have a whole bunch more on the way, so stay tuned for that. Look at that glassy skin though. I love the combination of the Thrive, these blushes, really going for a really nice kind of glass skin effect today. Thankfully, my skin has like calmed down a little bit. I'm not as stressed as I was. I was breaking out a lot more than I normally do. Um, from moving and it's really just things have settled. I feel better. We also just went to Disney World for the first time, which was so much fun getting to take our daughter. Um, she really uh, had a good time. We told her about the Winnie the Pooh ride and the honey pots and for like two months. She just talked about going on the honey pot. So getting to see her experience that for the first time was really cool. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of Cody Airspun, just a light dab, because I don't wanna completely kill this beautiful glow that we've got going on, but I do wanna set down my T-zone. And I'll kind of set under my eyes just a little bit too. I'll set especially through here under my bangs because they tend to get kind of greasy. I'm going to use my Victoria Beckham bronzer and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush for this. I really love this bronzer because I got a lighter shade than I probably would have normally picked otherwise, but I don't have to think where I place this really. It just kind of warms up my skin in the most flattering way. It's really kind of a foolproof shade, which I'm here for. I mean, the lightest shade, honestly, I could use as a setting powder, but whatever. I like them swirled together. It's really, really easy. So now continuing on with our glass skin effect, I'm going to use the glass slipper uh, from Clover and um, instead of wiping it on my skin, sometimes I feel like when you use stick products and you're putting them over other products, it can kind of pick up um, whatever, you know, you've already got on your face. 
So I just put my fingers on it and I'm going to press into my skin. And this stuff just has like, honestly, such a beautiful effect. See, it's, there's no shimmer, there's no glitter, there's nothing like that. It's just glow. And it's honestly just like so perfect for catching a little extra light, bringing some luminosity back to your skin. Big, big fan of that. It's unlike any other type of like highlighter that I have. So I was really, really into this when they sent it to me. And I think it's just beautiful. Okay, so on my eyes today, I'm going to do something kind of interesting. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna take the shade Penny from Jones Road Beauty. This was a shade that they gifted to me. I'm gonna take their brush, um, the blending brush. It's a really nice dome shape. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid and my crease and really just kind of like softly diffuse that out. Just a, a really nice wash of color and I'll build up that intensity um, a bit more like close to my lash line. It's kind of right in here on my lid and my lash. I'm really taking that pretty, pretty much all the way up to my brow bone. It's kind of where I'm going with it. All right. And um, for good measure, I'll do just a little bit underneath my eye for a really cohesive kind of look and shape. And we'll do that on my other eye too. Build that up a little bit more. And under my eye also. Penny is a really great shade. It's kind of just like this very soft, bronzy wash. By the way, I do apologize for my lighting. I still am kind of working out the kinks of being in a new space, um, but I kind of have some ideas of how I'm gonna tinker with this a little bit to make it easier to really see like what I'm doing. Um, before I put on my liner for today, which I'm very excited about, I'm going to use my Jones Road Beauty brow pencil. This is the shade Light Brunette. They sent me the shade Brunette, which I actually like better for me. Um, but I'm just, you know, you can't really see my brows too much with my bangs anyway. So we're going to go with light brunette today, just for a little extra color and hold should my bangs split. So this is my super random thought of the day, but like yesterday I got ready in, I don't know, less than 10 minutes, like doing my makeup and, you know, getting ready to walk out the door. And for some reason, I just loved how my makeup came together. And I'm kind of like, why is it that like when we aren't trying, when we aren't working too hard at it, it always looks great. <laughs> so I'm kind of like thinking more about that. And I'm like, you know, I think sometimes you just gotta just not put so much emphasis on perfection and really just kind of embrace and enjoy yourself as you are. Okay, so today I'm going to be using my U Paint in Rose Dior and I'm going to use this as my liner, which I'm pretty excited about. We'll see how this turns out. In my head, I like the idea of this. <laughs> we'll see if I actually like it. So you have different ways of using it. You can have it really thick and apply it that way, or you can make it really skinny and use it as a liner. So what I'm going to do is apply it really thin as a liner, a slight wing shape, and I might softly blend that into my existing eyeshadow. So let's try that out. my 
eye blending brush and just very softly merging the top with my eyeshadow. My lighting in here is just like not my favorite right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually do think this looks really cool. My lighting just doesn't show it off very nicely. <laughs> Enough whining about my lighting because I hate it so much. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use my Jones Road Beauty. This was one that I wore yesterday that got lots of compliments in Home Depot. I made like a potty patch for my dogs. If you wanna see that, I'll save it under a DIY highlight on my Instagram. Um, I do share kind of random bits about my life and things like that on Instagram. So if you're curious, you can go check that out there. I'm going to put on my Jones Road Beauty Mascara though, because this is my compliment getter mascara. I love this stuff. It's just too pretty. like lifts my lashes so much. I don't even use the lash curler. I just put it on and it's always perfect. So another thing um, that's kind of like a new, not new, sort of new, reintroduced to my life is that I started rollerblading again. Um, I bought a pair of rollerblades recently because we have so many amazing trails around our house that are really, really smooth. And I used to rollerblade when I was younger for like hours every day. I'm not even kidding. Like I would go for like two hours and it was like the best workout and it's so much fun. And I actually like got decent at it. Um, but it's been a long time since I've done that regularly and, um, so yeah, I bought some rollerblades and a helmet and wrist guards and uh, I went for a skate and I've gone for a couple more after that. It's so much fun and it's like such an easy like exercise. Like I really wanted to do something for cardio that I actually think is just really fun and is more of like a hobby than like, you know, sitting on an exercise bike or elliptical or whatever. Um, and this has been great. Like I'm having so much fun. So like, I think if you can, you know, find something you really enjoy and make that your exercise, like you're going to have no problem encouraging yourself to go do it. So now the new thing that I'm going to be trying out is trying to rollerblade with a stroller. And it's actually not that hard. I actually think it's kind of easy, but the issue I had was that my stroller, like the wheel started like jumping. <laughs> so I had to like grease it. So we'll see if it's better. Um, but that's like my new thing that I'm doing. So stay tuned for more about those adventures. It's really, really fun though. And um, it's fun to jump back into something that you used to love doing, you know? I sort of stopped because of just life and circumstance and not really having like the best place to go and skate, but it's something I really do love. I used to want to be a figure skater when I was a kid. And so I started skating so much every day because I was trying to prove that I could keep up with lessons and stuff, which I never got to take lessons, but I became a really great skater. So fun factoid about me. Okay, so I'm gonna take my nude, um, not nude, buff pencil from Fit Glow. Love that liner so much. It really kind of just ties everything together with that little extra pop of pink. So the last step I'm going to do is use my Fit Glow Lip Serum in the shade Awe. 
This one was part of like a series that they did of for Beautiful. And so this is the all shade. And it's just like the most perfect my lips but better pink. In case you're new here, these are my absolute favorite lip product. They are my gold standard. I'm really biased. I love them. They've gifted me a lot. I've purchased a lot. I love these so much. That color is just so beautiful. Anyway, that is today's face. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you're new here, I do apologize for my lighting. I am still kind of working out the kinks being in a new space, but I love how this look came together. It's just kind of fun, that little extra pop of pink on the liner. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to like and subscribe and you will see more content like this. I'll see you next time. Bye.